This is our lesson uh, from module 6 lesson 1 of grade 10. It is all about permutations. Let's start the lesson with introduction. Look at the picture shown below. Have you ever wondered why some locks such as the one shown below have codes in them? Do you know why a shorter code is weak while a longer code is strong personal password in a computer account? Let's find out the answers to these questions and discover the wide applications of permutations and combinations through this module. Let's have the kinds of permutations. Number 1. Permutation of n objects taken r at a time. Number 2. Permutation of n objects taken all at a time. Number 3. Distinguishable permutation. And number 4. Circular permutation. Let's have number 1. The permutation of n objects taken r at a time. For an example, number 1. Suppose we have six different potted plants and we wish to arrange four of them in a row. In how many ways can this be done? We can determine the number of ways these plants can be arranged in a row if we arrange only four of them at a time. Each possible arrangement is called a permutation. The permutation of six potted plants taken four at a time is denoted by P of 6, 4, 6, P of sub 4, or P sub 6, 4. Similarly, if there are n objects which will be arranged r at a time, it will be denoted by P of n r. The permutation of n objects taken r at a time is denoted by P of n r. Okay, solution. The permutation of an object taken R at a time, we're going to use the P of N R. Given, which is the number of objects N is equal to 6. R, which is the R at a time, is 4. Then, we're going to substitute N, which is 6, and R, which is 4. Therefore, we have P of 6, 4, this is equal to 6, times 5 times 4 times 3 and it is equal to 360 ways we have another solution remember that the permutation of an object taken r at a time is p of n r is equal to n factorial over the quantity of n minus r factorial where n is greater than greater than or equal to r so we simply substitute the volume 6 n uh, the value of n and r p of n r is equal to 6 factorial over the quantity of 6 minus 4 factorial then p of 6 4 is equal to 6 factorial is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 6 minus 4 is 2 so we have 2 factorial and 2 times 1 is the 2 factorial then we're going to cancel out 1 and cancel out 2 then p of 6 4 is equal to now 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 then it is equal to 360 ways let's proceed to the number 2 permutation of an object taken all at a time example number 2 in how many ways can five people arrange themselves in a row for picture taking we have our solution, n is equal to 5, and r is equal to 5. It is because taken all at a time. So we have p of 5, 5, it is equal to 5 factorial, wherein we have 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, or we have the 5 factors. Then it is equal to 120 possible pictures. Let's have another solution. We're going to use the formula. The P of N R is equal to the N factorial is 5 factorial all over the quantity of 5 minus 5 factorial. P of N R now, it becomes P of 5, 5. Then it's equal to 5 factorial over 
5 minus 5 factorial, it becomes 0 factorial. So remember that the 0 factorial is equal to 1. Then the 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 1. Then if we're going to multiply, the answer is 120. Okay, number 3, the distinguishable permutation. Is the number of distinguishable permutations p of n objects. We have the formula p is equal to n factorial over p factorial q factorial and r factorial where p objects are alike, q objects are alike, and r objects are alike and so on. Okay now uh, we have example number three. Find the number of permutations of the letters of the word statistics. We have the given the number of objects is 10. S, we have 3. T is also 3 and I is 2. Um, we have a solution. So, we must divide 10 factorial by 3 factorial, 3 factorial, and 2 factorial in order to eliminate the duplicates. Okay, let's have the solution. We're going to use the formula P of NR is equal to N factorial over P factorial, Q factorial, and R factorial. Then we have now the value of N is 10 factorial, then S factorial, it becomes S factorial, P factorial, and I factorial. Then S, we have 3 factorial, T, we have 3 factorial, and I, we have 2 factorial. So we're going to find the factorial of 10, that is 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. All over the 3 factorial, we have 3 times 2 times 1. Another 3 factorial, we have 3 times 2 times 1. And another 2 factorial, 2 times 1. Okay, and then we cancelled out 3 times 2 times 1. And then we also cancelled 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Therefore, we can cancel 6. And then we have the remaining 2 times 1, which is 2. So, we can cancel 4. Um, we have the remaining 2. Then, we multiply 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 5 times 2. Then, if we're going to find the product, we have 50,400 permutations then we have number four the circular permutation the permutation of an object's arranged in a circle is p is equal to n minus one factorial we have an example number four in how many ways can three people be seated around a circular table given we have the n is equal to three and we have now the solutions. We're going to use the formula P equals the quantity of N minus 1 factorial. Then substitute N which is 3. Therefore, we have 3 minus 1 is 2. Then we have 2 factorial. 2 factorial is equal to 2 times 1. Therefore, we have 2. We have 2 ways. 